Hi guys, this is my first video tutorial when I will try to explain how to some of my projects work. I decided to do this tutorial because many of you asked me how to my music floppy works and after many years I finally found the time to do it. I start by saying that my project born from the curiosity to experiment and understand the functioning of the old floppy disk drivers. I based myself on some projects on the net and I developed my own version. It's not a clone, it's not a copy, it's not a challenge. Choose who do it better. It's only my personal experimentation. I move it from the desire to stimulate other people and to share with other people. And especially, this is an open source project. In this video, I will try to explain how to a floppy disk driver works and how to make it sound. To do this, I will use an old floppy disk driver, an Arduino Uno board, an old PC power supply, and a series of buttons. Ok, let's start! First, let's analyze the connectors of our floppy drive. The floppy drive must be powered with a voltage of 5 volts plus 12 volts, but in our case, the 5 volt one is sufficient. To power it, I used an old PC power supply. The cables to be taken from the power supply are any black and any red, and must be connected in this way. From the left to the right are the third and fourth pin on our floppy drive, respectively ground and 5 volts. And now let's see how to use the other pins. The first thing you need to know is that all the pins in the second row, the bottom one, are connected to the ground. For the first row instead, uh, all the even numbered pins, we will only need three pins, just to control the movement of the head. The pins in question are 12, drive selected, 18, direction, and 20, the step. Pin 12 is used to enable our floppy and turn the LED on. For now we connect it to the, to the ground with the jumper. Uh, in the next video we will see how to use it to, to go to the read. The pin 18 is used to indicate which direction the head must go. Pin 20 is used to indicate the step that the head must to do. Each high-low cycle corresponds to a single step. Here comes the interesting part. The greater the number of the step performed in a second, the more the sound reproduced will be acute. In this way we can obtain the desired note. Let's move on the assembly of a simple keyboard. First, let's do all the connections. We see how to make a simple keyboard following this diagram. The Arduino pins that we are going to use are choose from 2 to 6. In the diagram, I also inserted a potentiometer that allows us to vary the tone and uh, is connected to the Arduino pin A0. As second step, we connect the floppy drive to power supply and to Arduino. As mentioned above, the floppy drive must be powered with an external 5 volts power supply. While for the connection with Arduino, the pins used are pin 8 connected to the pin direction and pin 9 connected to the pin step. Now that all the connections are made, Let's move on to writing a simple Arduino sketch that we allow us to play our floppy drive. First, let's define which are the input and output pins of Arduino and set some useful variables. The count variable is used to count the number of steps performed by the head. This allows us to understand when the head has finished its run. The maximum step value is indicated by the limit variable and the direction is indicated by the dir variable. 
If it's one, the direction is forward, otherwise it is backward. In the setup function, we make sure that the head starts from the beginning. In the loop cycle, we check that the status of the pin corresponding to the keyboard and execute the step play function. This function simply brings the step pin to high and then to low. The duration of the cycle corresponds to the frequency of the note we want to play. Secondly, we execute the counter increment function, which increase or decrease the counter according to the direction and correctly set the direction pin. Ok, and now let's start with the test. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in next video we will see how to build our floppy orchestra. Keep following this channel, share it and have a lot of fun!